All right, fellas, so today I thought I'd show you exactly what is in my dop kit, what I bring with me every single time I travel. Let's get into it. What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Effortless Gents. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Baron, and on this channel, we typically discuss men's style tips, how to dress sharp, how to dress with confidence, and what's in my bag slash everyday carry videos. But in this case, we're gonna be going through my dop kit. If you're into that kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also check out some of our older videos as well. So why don't we get right into the video, starting with the dop kit itself. This is the travel kit from a brand called Air. Got this recently, super love it. Very minimal, very thin and compact. Not bulky at all, really easy to stick into my luggage, my carry-on, or even my backpack. The exterior fabric is like this heavy duty ballistic nylon and the interior itself is made from this water resistant fabric. Really easy to clean up uh, in case anything spills, which is really nice. So as you can see here, there's a ton of storage for all your different toiletries, a lot of nooks and crannies and zippers and little compartments, which is great and I love it. There's also a hook here. Uh, which is awesome for if you need to hang this on a door or something or just hang it out of the way, uh, but for it to be still very accessible. I recently got a few products from Air, which I really love. I've been testing them. I'm gonna do a more in-depth video on that really soon, so keep an eye out for that. So first up, I wanna give a big shout out to our sponsor for this video, Manscaped. I've been using their Lawnmower 2.0 for ah, a few months now, and I love it because I used to use this guy. It's a it's a decent shaver, but I'm gonna let you know this. It nicks you all the time. I don't have much hair here, but this is all I want to use for when I'm shaving. This thing cuts me up all the time, and I didn't realize that coming into it. But the lawnmower has something called Skin Safe technology. Basically, it's like a really safe blade, and it doesn't ever nick me, which is very, very important because this is not only a shaver that I use for my face, I also use it for the rest of my body. And yes, I use it for the rest of my body, but I do clean it before it touches my face if I'm shaving other things. So the skin safe technology is great. Uh, thing number two that I really love about this, it's waterproof. My old one was not, so I couldn't bring it into the shower with me. This guy, you can use it in the shower. It works perfectly. I can shave things and I don't have to worry about hair getting everywhere. So shout out to the Lawnmower 2.0 for being waterproof. So within the Perfect Package 2.0, not only does it come with the Lawnmower 2.0, but it also comes with two other products, the Crop Reviver and the Crop Preserver. So the Crop Reviver essentially is like a refreshing spritz for your package. And the Crop Reserver is basically like deodorant for your boys. So you already put deodorant under your arms. This is specifically made for your package. These two items smell really good. It's not overpowering like some deodorants and things like that can be. This is a pretty subtle scent, but it's very nice, masculine, manly smelling. I like it a lot. I'm gonna link to all this stuff in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out. Click the link, use code EG for 20% off your purchase. And thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. And thank you to you for checking out the products and the brands that make these videos possible. Okay, so why don't we move on to hair stuff? So I always bring a hairbrush with me. This isn't a very special hairbrush. I kind of just picked it up from like a local store. Uh, essentially what I do like about this is that the teeth are very spread apart uh, and there is like venting in the brush itself. So this helps when like you're blow drying your hair and you're styling it. So that's the reason why I chose this brush specifically. Other than that, it's not that special. This is a beard and hair comb from Beard Brand. Clearly I don't have a beard, so I do use it on my hair. I like that there are two sets of teeth. One is definitely closer together, obviously, and then the other is further apart. So depending on what I need, I can use both sides. The comb is really high quality. It's made from a cellulose acetate, which is nice because it doesn't snag your hair when you're combing through it. It's very smooth. And also the teeth are nicely tapered and it's not sharp. The, the uh, tips are basically rounded. So it's easy to control when you're combing your hair and it's just like, it's a nice comb overall, very high quality. I love this thing. So these are the two hair products that I bring with me when I travel. This is the original Styling Meraki from Blumon and this is the Monarch Matte Paste also from Blumon. So I typically use a clay for my hair and one of my favorite clays is made by Blumon. It's the Blumon Cavalier Clay. So the folks at Blumon reached out and asked if I would like to try their Discovery Styling Kit, which I thought was really cool. It basically comes with all five of their products, uh, a little small sample tubs of each one. And right now I'm trying out the matte paste, which I do love, and the Styling Meraki I use as a pre-styler, so before I blow dry. 
I, right after the shower, I put this in my hair, blow dry it, style it, and then to finish it off, I use the matte paste to kind of give it the hold. So these two in combination have so far given me the best hold without uh, feeling too heavy with product. Clay tends to be a little bit heavier. This has been like a nicer, lighter balance while still giving me the hold I need. If you want a more like in-depth experience review uh, with these products or with clay in general, uh, you let me know in the comments below and I can always do another video on that. Okay, so next up we have face stuff. So first up is this scrub from Tiege Hanley. I do love that it's like the perfect travel size, one. And two, I just like the exfoliation when I use this product. So this is the uh, this is typically the face wash that I bring with me when I travel. And then for moisturizer, after I wash my face, I typically use the Daily Essential Face Moisturizer from Brickle. These are the two products that I've kind of been using for the last two years, three years or so. Uh, and this is just a combination I've been taking with me lately, especially because these bottles are perfect for traveling. What I do like about Brickle's moisturizer is that it's very lightweight. Uh, it smells really nice and it feels very lightweight when I apply it. So it's not super heavy or goopy, which is important to me when it comes to facial moisturizer. Also, all the ingredients are all natural. And finally, I take this facial sunscreen uh, SPF 40 by a brand called Super Goop. My wife gave this to me. One, it's a nice travel size. Two, I like how it applies on the skin. It's not very um, thick or heavy like some sunscreens can be. This is specifically meant for your face. Uh, it applies and it's just like a really matte finish, which I appreciate. Okay, so next up is my teeth stuff. So the toothbrush I use is from a brand called Quip. It's a minimal electric toothbrush, which I really love. It doesn't require any like plugging in or huge accessories. It's really slim, minimal. It runs on one, I think, AA battery, super easy. The brush heads are replaceable and they do have a subscription service for that. Another cool thing is that this cover uh, doubles as a holder, so you can just stick this thing on your mirror and this is like restickable, which is really cool. Stick it on your mirror and then it's a holder for your toothbrush. Toothpaste, of course, nothing special here, just standard Colgate travel size toothpaste. And of course, a travel size floss. All right, so moving on to body stuff. Deodorant, of course, very important. Currently, I'm using uh, Old Spice Bear Glove. I, I don't know, I just picked this up at the store. I'm not like a big uh, deodorant snob. I kind of just, I use the nice stuff. I use the basic stuff. Uh, I do like the antiperspirant. I know supposedly it's not great for you, but well, I use it and I like it. So there you go. I always take a travel sized Advil container with me. There's uh, some ibuprofen in here and also like allergy medicine. Cause if you have allergies like me, it's always really important to carry this stuff with you. Cause you never know when it's going to hit. So this is a cool little container for that. Fragrance. I always take a cologne with me. I used to take like a full bottle, which was really annoying and huge and took up a lot of room. But one time when I got a sample from, uh, I think it was like Sephora or something of a fragrance I wanted to try, once the fragrance was out, I just opened this up, I washed out the inside, and I then filled it back up with my fragrance that I want to bring with me. So. Now I don't have to take a huge thing of cologne. I just take this little guy and it's perfect. This is like a simple little container that I keep Q-tips in. It's about like what? A week or two's worth of Q-tips? And finally some Band-Aids because you never know when you're gonna cut yourself or something bad's gonna happen. So take Band-Aids. And that is it for body stuff. So these two things fall into the et cetera category. So one, I always take a small mirror with me. This isn't necessarily a travel mirror, but it is fog resistant, which I find useful. And also sometimes I just need a second mirror if I wanna like check the back of my head when I'm styling my hair, or if like the mirror at the place I'm staying sucks, or if someone's in the bathroom and I need a mirror, there you go, got a second mirror. And finally, I always take a travel size pack of wet wipes because you never know when you're gonna touch something gross or sticky, or you need to wipe something down on the airplane or in the car somewhere, or just messes happen and you need to wipe things down. So wet wipes, always helpful. Always take a travel size pack with me. All right, fellas, so that is everything that I bring with me in my dog kit every time I travel. Got a question for you though. What do you take with you? Does it look like something like this? Is it a lot more? Is it a lot less? I love that I can fit everything in that small air travel kit, which is awesome. I'm curious though, what do you bring with you? Let me know in the comments below. Quick shout out again to our friends at Manscaped. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Guys, please check out their products. I'm linking to everything in the description box below. Don't forget to use code EG and you're gonna get 20% off your purchase. You really, you, it doesn't nick you at all. Love it. And I'm also linking to every other product that I can uh, that I bring with me in my dog kit. So go ahead and check out those links. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you loved it, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. 
And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.